Upcoming schedule for the Hoyas. Uh, they travel to Syracuse to play in the Dome on Valentine's Day, then down to South Florida. We know what South Florida yeah, right. Look at that. Marquette last night. Unbelievable. And then they have Marquette. Georgetown, the last time they played Marquette, they shot 56%, went into Milwaukee and lost. You see two on the road, then they play the eighth ranked team in the country, the seventh wow. ranked team in the country, and go on the road for two more. One of those against the 16th ranked team in the country. Life in the Big East, huh? Not everybody can finish first, but anybody can finish eighth. Right? <laughs> well said. And I stole that from somebody. I read that on a plane a couple of weeks ago, so that's all right. Whoever wrote it, if they're listening to the broadcast, I didn't steal it. <laughs> Here we go. Both in the double bonus, each with one timeout to go, but just 13 seconds to go. Mick Cronin's Bearcats leading by two, 64-62. Last couple of years, Mick Cronin saying we were Cincinnati in name only. Well, a victory here this afternoon. They'll be crawling their way back into the tradition that they built in the Queen City. Nine seconds. Right, looking for Monroe down on the low post. This is Freeman. Freeman trying to draw the foul, and there's a box out, and there's the horn, but there's a whistle. Let's see how they sift through everything here. The John Thompson's out on the floor. The officials are leaving the floor. So the Bearcats will escape with a 64-62 victory. Georgetown obviously trying to draw the foul, Mike, on that shot. Absolutely. A lot of contact on that three. Referees not wanting to call a foul. Decide this game. It was sort of a wild shot, but nonetheless, lots of contact. Take another look. Looked like Monroe was almost the diversion on this play. Good pump fake. Little bump down there with Monroe. I think that's what John Thompson was screaming for, too. Well, one or the other. Here's the look. You see the referee on the right-hand corner there. Deontay Vaughn going for the box out. Gave Monroe a little hip. Well, hard-fought game. Tough to see it come down to something like that. You'd like to see a clean shot, either made or missed at the end. But the no call, John Thompson not happy. But Mick Cronin is a Cincinnati team escaping with the win on the road. Well, you see the sadness and the discouragement on the faces of the fans here inside the Verizon Center. Another loss for Georgetown. They go to 4-7 and seven of the Big East. 64-62 Bearcats. We're back with our final.